All right, let's get the sucker out of the way. We got one more target test to do, and that is level five. So let's get it on. Hey guys, what's up? Pitmarth right here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the last episode, we cleared level four of Target Smash with all the characters. So in this episode, we're gonna be finishing up target test with all the characters on all the difficulties by completing it with everybody on level five. With the very final level of Target Smash is apparently putting levels of Target Smash to be much more entertaining to the player instead of just giving everybody their own individual things to do. Obviously. Either way, I've already colossally screwed this one up with Mario, so now that you've seen how it's not done, hopefully we'll be able to shatter the, uh, the 30 second requirement later on with another character. Which I already know who that would be, so... Mario didn't even break 40 seconds. Wow. That's sad, dude. I'll move that thing down on my desk so I can actually see the bottom of my screen. I couldn't see the percentages or his name, so... Not that either one of those are a very important factor target smash, but... You know. Seeing the whole screen would be nice. Ah, I hate that stupid thing. Oh gosh. Come on, get it. And up and over. The only problem that can come with throwing that beam sword twice is sometimes it'll vanish after the first throw. And if that happens, it'll screw up your run. And if that happens, then you're gonna have to jump for those or projectile one and jump for the other. One of them's in a really bad spot, so you can't really projectile for it. You just kind of have to go for it, you know? I'm be able to just use the bone arrow on that. Yeah, there we go. Some of the heavyweight characters can make that one a little bit hard to get. It looks like it's a suicide target, and in all actuality, it's not. But, you know, it can be made to look like one for sure. Got it. That's also another problem, is standing on that thing can sometimes knock off the, uh, the cannon, which is what I prefer to use to get rid of that target, so... Up! Yeah, see what I mean? Sometimes it goes away like that. Alright, so... Let's bow and arrow take out one of them. Do that to get rid of the other one. And you could obviously go over the pole, too. That's not how I meant to get that last one. But, if you break it and get it, then you break it and get it, so who cares. Ready, go! Now this one I'm pretty sure I am going to mess up on the first try, so I'm going to come back to it with a character I know I can beat it with. And the only reason I'm saying that, it's not Samus, don't worry, I, I could not beat this in my 30 seconds with Samus. If I do, then awesome, but I highly doubt it. But either way, the character I think I can beat it with, or have the most chance of beating it with, is Fox, so... That'll be my choice, unless this happens. Or that could happen, and I could just completely blow that out of the water with Samus. I don't know how that happened. Well, I was going to choose Fox, but like the second I saw the one up there, I was like, I usually break that one on the top right with a projectile. I could just use Samus's missiles and just get it that way. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the main trick to this one. You need a character that's fairly fast. Why didn't it... I had plenty of jumps left, I don't know why that didn't work. Oi, keep going back. Is I use a character that's fairly fast and somebody that has a projectile that will shoot straight and very far. So Samus's missiles, Fox, Falco, Wolf works really well right here too. Uh, Pit would work really well right here. It's gotta be a character that can fire quick shots too. Like Lucar's or Sphere might work, but you have to charge it up and you know that's a hassle. We're getting that target at least. Two, three, four, up. And throw. That beam sword throw right there where you break both of the targets, it is designed to do that, and it will hit every time, assuming you still have the beam sword, so. Nine targets. I must have messed one up here whenever I was beating with Fox. Ready, yeah, whatever. I didn't hear that one break. 
Oh, it's still there. Maybe it doesn't go far enough. I'm not. I don't know. I was pretty sure that's how I got it the last time. Though. Whatever. That one up colossally, and that was 35 seconds. You can see how you could beat it with Fox as well. I'm still surprised I got that with Samus. Like, really? Samus is not one of my best characters at all. Not even close. She wouldn't even be in my top 10. Yeah! Thought I couldn't make that recovery? You thought wrong, sir. As much as I do find Pikachu to be a cheap character, that is one thing I like about him. He, like, he makes recoveries you don't think he would be able to make, just because of the uh, quick attack being able to go twice, like up and then, you know, the corner direction. It just looks like he wouldn't be able to make that, but he still did. Narrowly, but it worked. Yeah, I got it with Mark because I beat on the 10th of them. I had two shots at beating it, so... I would hope that one of those two tries I would get it. Like, jeez. Wait, that didn't hit it? Wow. Sir! There we go. Sometimes he kind of blends in with the background right here. It's kind of weird. Not terribly blends in, but like where I can't see him, but it just looks a little bit off because of it. Shot like that, eh, whatever. If you screw up the uh, sword throw, or you like use it here first instead of jumping up like this and throwing it, like not making it or whatever, then you can get on that little thing right here and jump up to it that way. It's just not preferable. So if you can, you know, if you cannot do that, then it would be better for your time. That was the sound of me closing my uh, notes for what the uh, required time was for each of the target test levels. Not that one and two mattered, because I already had them cleared, but I wasn't sure on three. I could see what four and five were from the challenge board, but I couldn't see what three was, so I had to look it up. This last one. Oh, whatever. Ten characters, outset link trophy, thank you. Next. Ready, go! I didn't think that was gonna be too far. Oh well. Surprised that works. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell those platforms that are constantly going down, you can go through them, so. When I was using his up B, I wasn't afraid it was, you know, like gonna hit the side of one. No, 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 Sheik. I know characters that are good with Zelda, or I know players that are good with Zelda. In fact, I fought one in a tournament like a couple weeks ago. Not like an official tournament or anything, but like, you know, a group of like 10 people or so playing. And he was the only person that could beat me. We never did get to finish that, we had to cut it short, but... It kind of sucked, because I want to know who would win, because I was playing as Marth, he was playing as Sheik, and it was a best of five, and it was... You know, it was match point, it was 2-2. Two -two. Even if I lost, like, I love finding players that are good, but not ridiculously cheap like Pikachu or whatever. And I'm sure that spawned a comment like, Well, I'll fight you, I can kick your ass, I've seen you play, you suck. 
I've already seen multiple comments like that. It's like, hello, I'm not playing to show I'm good, I'm playing this to show you how to get what you need from like the challenge board and just how certain things work. Never said I was the best at this game. I'm not gonna make a claim I know is not true. First thing you get like the polar opposite of those. It's like, man, you're so good. How in the world do you do these things? I'm like, eh, nah, I just took a little bit of practice. That's all. But you get most of these. It's just practice. Oh, you interrupted its taunt or his taunt, man. That's not cool. He was about to say, the fight is on! Well, I guess it's better than you're too slow. Oh well. well that's not the way I intended to get those two targets, but whatever. One second. I don't know what would happen if you hit, like, you know, it says beat it in under 30 seconds. I don't know if 30 seconds exactly would count. I would assume not, probably. Which sucks, but it's true. Actually, you might be able to do a Falco. As weird as that sounds. You can just get that first shot, you know, correctly right here. Why Fox missed that shot and Falco did. I mean, I know his laser's slower, so that would make sense that it could go farther. It's kind of weird, is all. Yeah, that was under 30 right there. I thought I didn't get it, but yeah, that was under 30. Not by much, but it was. I don't know why I put my name on this. It's not like you're not gonna be able to find me in a target test. I mean, hello? Nobody else on screen. It's always nice when you can get a character that can make those two jumps right there. If you can't, then it just takes a little more time and it's annoying. That was pretty close to 30 seconds for Pokemon Trainer. Oh, there's no way I can get it. Well, of course, I said there's no way Samus can get it, so I guess anybody could, really. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's probably a video out there of, like, all the record times for this, and I'm sure when it comes to the challenge board, the challenge board's a joke, and, you know, I thought I was gonna die right there. I thought I was gonna die right there. I'm just gonna retry this one, because clearly that's not gonna work. I don't think I can get that one over there, so I'm just gonna leave it be. But what I was gonna say is I'm sure, like, you know, the really good players of this game can probably get target smash level 5 in under 30 seconds with every character, not just, you know, 2 or 3. I was like, what in the world? I missed one. I was very confused there for a second. I was like, what in the world? Why are there two targets left? Did I miss the one on the far left? It didn't seem right at all. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. It's like I have these typical paths for each one. And so I was expecting to, you know... I was expecting to see only one left. And I was like, okay, which one did I miss? Because I didn't take the normal path. I didn't know the answer to that. I got it! Ready, go! I'll just throw a grenade at that one for all I know. What? I could still see his head. He was clearly above the boundary, sir. Ok, 
Okay, that time I couldn't see his head above the boundary. What in the world? My Wii Remote died. Lovely. It stopped for a second. I saw a flashing. I was like, what? I did not use side B. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. I don't know why it did that either. I guess the battery pack must... Well, not the battery pack, but the battery must have come loose or something, which doesn't make sense because I have the skin on it, so it can't do that. There we go. That's a grenade shot right there. I know it's not the batteries because I had to change them out yesterday, so I know the batteries are still good. If the batteries died that quickly, like, I use the ones that they give you when you first get a Wii Remote, so they're, like, the really crappy ones, but... Even then, they're not gonna die in one day unless I was playing for 24 hours straight. Most of the day I've been playing Mystery Dungeon, so... Or at least game playing wise. No, don't throw it off the edge! Nice. <laughs> I outsmarted you. Well, not really, because I'm the idiot that threw it off the edge, but who cares? I'm gonna act like it was something awesome. I think we're actually going through level 5 faster than we are 4. Where are we going? Thank you. I didn't think she'd be able to make that throw, but it's worth a shot. Worst case scenario, I'll take this with me. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, well, it wouldn't show me what the turn was. I was like, that's a weird... That had a weird-looking face on it. Anyone else see that? Like, I know that I all have, like, weird-looking faces, and depending on what turnip you pull up, it does different damage, but that one was really weird-looking. Sir, don't don't roll, just throw it. There you go. See the problem with using the Wii Remote sideways is the roll and the throw command <coughs> the roll and the throw commands are the same. So on Yoshi's character I don't know why it's only Yoshi's, I've never seen it happen on anybody else, and it's not the first time I've seen that happen to Yoshi, but it's like sometimes he rolls instead of throwing the object that he has in his hand, it's bizarre and I don't know why it happens, but it does. Wow, Ganon actually made that recovery. Like, Ganon actually has a decent recovery. It's one of the few things that is actually good about him, in my opinion. And it actually has gotten better from, uh, Melee. The Melee couldn't break targets. It can now. Part of it may also have to do with the fact that you don't have to be facing a ledge to grab it anymore. As long as you're close to it, it'll still give it to you. I can get this one. Gotcha. Just hit it with your head, man. That's the best way to do it. Right, so this is number 22, and we're 19 minutes in, so... We're saving a little bit of time with a few of these. It just kind of depends on the speed of me not screwing up. I'm coming back. Two, three, four. Nice. In case you couldn't tell, by the way, the ice climbers can pick up uh, two items, one for each of them, one for Nana, one for Popo. 
I really never use that ability because I don't use the ice climbers often enough for it to matter, but you can do that. What in the world? Is anybody else seeing what just happened right there? That was weird. Three, four, five, up. Dude, don't stick me on that. There we go. That was so strange. I think I've seen it do that before, it probably has all the time and it's just never actually happened to me, but that was really weird. Alright, whatever. Ready, go! Whoa, what the? Why didn't that work? Why didn't it? Uh, hey, game, what are you doing to me? work just fine there. No, honestly, I think Wolf's side B is a better recovery than his up B is. His up B doesn't seem to go very far. Not that any of the Star Fox characters seem like their up B goes very far, but, you know, still. Seems like his goes even shorter than the rest of them. Still like to think Wolf's a decent character. Probably one of the few people I know. Well, no, there's one other person I know. Don't throw it off the edge! Dummy. Oh, well. There's like one other person I know that, think, that thinks Wolf is a decent character. Everyone else I know hates him. I don't like the wall clinging, it does help sometimes. Save went off right there. That was 23 minutes. I thought it was going to be a 30 for some reason. Well, no, I, it would make sense if it was a 23. It was probably from whenever I closed my uh, list or my notes. Wow, well, way off right there. Kind of off right there, too. I don't know how that counted. Definitely gonna get this one done faster than we did the uh, Ready, level four. Go! Level four took what 36 minutes. We have 10 left, including Sonic, and we're at 24. Though I did say level four was the more annoying of the two, and apparently the uh, developers thought so too, because when it comes to the records you have to get, the level fives. Is 30 seconds, level 4 is 32, so obviously it, they thought it took more time as well. Okay, I was like, I took my time to line up my shot there because I didn't want to like line it up and then just miss completely and then just kill myself. If you do get a target and then die and it was like the last one and you know it says success and you see your character like flash from the death thing or whatever, you'll still get it, so don't worry about that. Okay, also stay with me here. Whoa, what the... It was on land, sir! I don't know why you're doing that to me. Well, 
Well, that was convenient. Yeah, whatever. Don't need it. for how long I thought it would take Bowser to finish, that was pretty good. I thought it would take him around the 45 second mark. Alright, Wario, well, right, let's do this. Wait, what? I don't know why that registered late, but I was supposed to land on that thing first. Get that first jump back. So you better grab that ledge, boy. It's clearly not getting me anywhere. I guess you could bring the cannon and do this. Never thought about doing that before. Never needed to, though, to be fair. Ready, go! That would have sucked had I missed that. I would have just fallen to my death. to hit that one right there that I just smashed, but whatever. He used Young Link's Boomerang a lot in his target test for melee, so... And these, well, we've already gone over why these suck. Now the phrase, if Bowser can do it, anybody can do it, or if Ganon can do it, anybody can do it, or if Rob can do it, anybody can do it, actually, you know, it has some depth to it, because if you can clear the target's match with Bowser, and it's a level that's clearly not designed for heavyweights, then you really can clear it with pretty much anybody else. Seriously? This is exactly why I hate Rob, he's just too weird. His upbeat didn't even work right there. I know it takes time to recharge, but it should have worked at least for a second. There, that's all I wanted you to do. Hate that stupid robot. All stars, not gonna be fun with him. And yes, I have definitely decided, like 100%, I'm not gonna show all of All Star. Still not sure whether I'm going to do highlights reel or not. I mean, we'll get to that whenever I'm done with a uh, home run contest, which will be next video. And they all died. There we go. I want to make sure I have as much of a uh, safety net as I can here, so I need to keep as many Pikmin as I can. Got it up there. Yeah, get it, you think getting that one on the other side of the wall would be kind of annoying, but really it isn't. There's a couple characters that don't seem... They seem to miss it a lot because their jumps aren't timed very well for that height in particular, but... That's not gonna work. I could have made the recovery, but yeah, whatever. Ready, go! Yay, that was a waste of time. I can jump up there and get it. It's one jump and an up A. Ready, it's not that hard. Let's 
gonna pick that up, but apparently not. Ah, it went away. Shoot. Good thing Falcon's got the moves. Alright, yeah, I figured these two hadn't, you know. I was like, pretty sure I beat these guys. Classic mode with normal, but, you know. Always gotta check, because, you know, what would be the points? Otherwise, just doing it again for no reason. done with target test thank goodness boss battles is much more fun that's probably just gonna be one character per video Ready, and I probably won't make them crazy titles it'll be like you know boss battles intense mode with and then whatever the character's name is so it'll be easy to find whichever one you want and for the record off screen what I'll probably do whenever it comes to doing boss battles on intense with everybody is actually beat it on all the other modes because, like, if you can beat it on intense mode with everybody, and you can't beat it on easy mode with anybody, then something's wrong, okay? So I'm just gonna say, on that front, I'll probably just beat it on easy, normal, very hard, and, uh, hard with, just, like, probably Mario, I guess, since he's the first one on the list. Or Marth. Yeah, it'll probably be Marth, actually. Because, obviously, I'm more used to Marth than anybody else. Uh, finally, some in that bottom row. I was wondering why there's so many of them. But either way, that it takes care of the target test for everybody. Uh, doesn't say you clear it with everybody. But we have cleared it with everybody on all five levels of Target Smash. So now, along with Classic Mode, it's done. Don't have to worry about it again. Uh, so next will be Home Run on Test. I think I'll probably break after that, because I really don't want to do Multi-Man Brawl for now. Especially because of the Cruel Brawl, like, trying to get 10 of the kills is one of the more annoying ones, in my opinion, and... Eh, I just feel like a break from this after Home Run, and Home Run Contest will probably just be one video. So now that that has all been said and done, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, when we head off to, uh... I guess Home Run Contest. And I'm not set in stone, Multi-Man Brawl will be, you know, after I take the break. It might be before, I don't know. Figure it out when I get there. Because Impulse is the best choice, obviously. We've proven that time and again in America. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.